Hi, my name is Vasila, Assistant Professor, Department of English, Sussex College, Kaliparamba. In this video, I would like to give you a short summary of the short story, The Rightful Inheritance of the Earth, written by Vaikam Muhammad Bashir. Vaikam Muhammad Bashir known as Bepur Sultan, was an Indian independence activist and a writer of Malayalam literature. He was born on 21st January 1908 at Parambu and died in the year 1994. He was a humanist, freedom fighter, novelist and short story writer, noted for his path breaking down to old style of writing that made him equally popular among literary critics as well as the common man. His notable works include Balyagala Sagi, Shabdangal, Pathumede Aadu, Madhulugal, Endu Papa Kuran and Dairnu, Jen Madhinam, Bhumiyude Avagashigal, translated as the rightful inheritors of the earth, Premaleganam, etc. The translations of his works into other languages have earned him worldwide acclaim. He was awarded Padma Shri in the year 1982. He was also a recipient of the Sahitya Academy Fellowship and Kerala Sahitya Academy Fellowship. Bashir's stories on people and nature have a universal appeal with an unconventional style of language. The recurring themes in his narratives include love, hunger, poverty, and life in prison, etc. The wide variety is also seen in his narrative style, presentation, philosophy, and social comment. The Rightful Inheritors of the Earth is a translation of Malayalam story Bhumiyude Avagashigal. This is a short narrative in which the author talks about the need to consider the other animals also as a part of this earth as they are the rightful inheritors of the earth. The story narrates the thoughts and feelings of the narrator when the tiny coconut grove he owns was invaded by birds and other animals. According to him, the earth is not only created for human beings, but also to be inherited by all creatures. The narrator owned a two-acre plot with coconut palms and a house to live in. At that time, the price of the coconut was very high and it would give them enough money to live. But his coconuts were destroyed by bats, squirrels and other creatures. Later, birds, butterflies, hawks, rats, cobra, etc. visited his land and lived there as if the land is owned by them. When they lost lots of tender coconuts by the attack of these creatures, his wife told him to destroy them. The narrator didn't listen to her, but would rather tell his idea that all creatures have the same right to live in this land. Then his wife bought a rat poison to kill rats. But after a few days, five hens, twelve squirrels, 200 rats and a cat died. But she was not happy with that. Later, they identified that bats are the real culprits. Narrator's wife, with the help of her cousin, thought of killing the bats. They identified that the bats came from the nearby temple. They went to kill the bats using a gun. 
but they were chased by the local people as it is believed that bats are the souls of their forefathers the story concludes with the narrators saying that although bats cannot be considered as a reincarnation of our forefathers they definitely have a right to reside on this earth the words of the author may remind us of an age old concept in ancient india that of vasudeva kudumbagam vasuda being the earth and kudumbagam means family in other words the whole world is a family including the animals in this story you can see two different attitudes or perspectives regarding other creatures the first perspective is the entire earth including flora and fauna is created for man the entire earth belongs to man and he can exploit it for his own benefit the narrator's wife and her cousin in the story represent this view at first when the narrator's wife realized that the rats are creating troubles she poisoned them in the same way she and her cousin decided to kill the bats using a gun contrary to this perspective is the belief that the entire beings on earth have equal rights to live and human beings depend on their surroundings for their survival without safeguarding the earth its abundant plant and animal life we have no future this is why narrator tried to dissuade his wife from killing bats he exclaimed guns should never have been invented we know that the stand taken by the narrator is correct as our very existence would be in peril if it didn't protect this earth at present all of us are facing the problems of climate change and the reason for climate change is nothing but our ways of exploiting and destroying the environment so through this short story why ka muhammad bashir gives us a good lesson that we have to protect our environment show love and kindness towards other creatures and understand the fact that they are also a part of our earth and they are the rightful inheritors of the earth thank you